side of here is dead. I think one of the unique things about working on 10 Cloverfield Lane is that it's a real character piece. Even though it's a genre film and there's a lot of action in it and there's, there's a bit of a sci-fi element, there's all these elements in it, but ultimately it's kind of about what these characters are feeling psychologically. And so there were so many scenes that really felt like we were just doing this really tense drama, you know, and really getting into the characters and what they're going through and what it would really be like to be stuck in a bunker with strangers that you've never met before. What happened to your arm? Were you trying to escape? I was trying to get in. There are certainly elements of shooting the film that were very different than, you know, what you see of us in the bunker, but that's all a part of the mystery. The experience of it um, was, you know, from day to day changed rapidly. Even just shooting the stuff in the bunker, you know, there are days where we're doing scenes where it feels kind of funny, like we're getting along and we're all hanging out down there. And then at the drop of a hat, you know, somebody says something that makes another character paranoid and worried that someone's turned against them. And then suddenly it's this intense drama and suddenly it's, it's action. And the whole experience was totally different from day to day. And the film goes on a bit of an emotional roller coaster in terms of, of her perspective of the world around her and whether it's real or whether it's fake and, and, and what to really believe. No! No, no! No! Don't open that door! They're going to get all of us killed!